Hi everyone. We are asked to find the values of C. Okay. First, remember that when you have square root of x all squared, that this square is going to cancel as square root, right? To give us that the value of this will give us x, right? So anytime we have square root sign, the first thing we need to do is to square it to cancel it, depending on the question. So that means I'm going to square both sides of this equation. So square both sides of the equation. Okay, now we are going to have square root of c to the power of 3 all squared is equal to square root of 3 to the power of 3 all squared. Now, having done that, it's notice that this square, we remove the square root, right? So we now have c to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, let's bring this to this side of the equation. Yeah, so if we do that, we have c to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 0. Now, remember this algebra identity that says that a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a minus b multiplied by a squared plus ab plus b squared. That is what the algebra identity states. So that means that c to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 will give us c minus 3 multiplied by c squared plus c multiplied by 3 plus 3 squared. And everything is equal to 0. Okay? If this is the first time you are tuning in, click on the subscription button, please. Turn on your notification bell. That is very important so that anytime we upload new videos, you will be the first to be notified. Okay, and also give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Tune in at your convenience. You upload at least three times every day. Yeah, so tune in and watch new uploads. Thank you very much. So this is what we have here. Remember that from this, we have that C minus 3 is equal to 0, right? And that, okay, for this side, let's try to um, expand this further. So we have C minus 3 multiplied by C squared plus 3 times C is 3C plus 3 squared is 9, okay, is equal to 0. So from here, we can see that c minus 3 is equal to 0, and c squared plus 3c plus 9 is also equal to 0. So for the left-hand side, we are going to get c to be equal to 3. For the right-hand side, we have a quadratic equation that can only be solved using the quadratic equation formula. Yes, the quadratic equations formula states that since we are looking for the value of c, that c is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Now, our a is equal to the coefficient of c, c squared, which is 1. Our b is the coefficient of c, which is 3. And our c is our constant, which is what? nine so that simply means that we can get the value of c using this formula so our c is equal to minus b that is minus three plus or minus square root of b squared that is three squared minus four ac four multiplied by one multiplied by nine okay everything divided by two a divided by two a that is two multiplied by one okay so let me clean everything now. So it simply means that C is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of, we have 3 squared is 9, minus 4 multiplied by 9, right? Divided by 2. So we have C to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of, now they share 9 as a common factor, okay? Let me stand here. They share 9 as a common factor. That means that, we have 9, okay? Now, when 9 is divided by 9, we have 1 minus. When 4 times 9 is divided by 9, we have 4 remaining. Then everything divided by 2. I don't know if you can still see this. So what we have here is that C is equal to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 brackets. 1 minus 3 is minus 4 is minus 3, right? Divided by what we have here as denominator is still these two. So C is equal to minus 3 plus or minus. This can be expressed as square root of 9, right? Then multiply by square root of 3, multiply by square root of minus 1. Everything divided by 2. Now, I don't want to continue with this. 
Yes, because getting a discriminant as a negative number is enough to tell us that we don't have any real value for the value of C using uh, when we solve this quadratic equation. So let us reject this. The only real value of C is the first value that we got that C is equal to 3. And if we should prove that, you can see that 3 to the power of 3 square root is also equal to 3 to the power of 3 square root. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.